What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to improve your images using Lightroom. Now I'm going to be showing you a very easy method and a very quick method how to improve your images and I do recommend you give it a try. So first thing, I have imported my photo and it is an image of my cat and as you can see it's right here and all we're going to do is head over to the develop tab. So originally this is how the image looks. You can see it is a really sharp photo. Everything is in focus that is need to be in focus. And of course the background is blurred. For those wondering, it was taken on a 25 millimeter lens at 1.7 aperture. First thing you want to do is go to basic. And then what I recommend you do is turn the highlights down and the shadows all the way up. Yes, it's gonna make the image look ugly. Just bear with me. The next thing you want to do where it says white and blacks, you're going to be holding alt on your keyboard and adjusting the white to start with. So you can either drag it back, as you can see the screen stays black so then you can bring it up and you can see as these white start, uh, spots start to appear, we just need to go back just to here. So just before the white uh, spots appear. Then onto the blacks again we're going to hold alt. And you can see we have quite a lot of black spots showing. So we need to go up as much as we can. As you can see, we cannot go up anymore. So right here, I'm going to leave it. Now, yes, the image still looks a bit ugly. We have more of a green on the background, but don't worry, it will be fixed. The next thing I'm going to be doing is bumping up the contrast just a touch. And then we're going to be selecting the white balance. Now, in order to do this, we're going to select the white balance selector right here. And all we need to do is select something with a neutral color. Now, in my case, I'm going to pick it here in this bag where is a neutral color. So I'm just going to left click it. As you can see, this is what we get. Now, it's more of a blue tint, and this is where you can customize it a bit more. You don't have to always go with what the white balance picks. And of course, if you use the white balance when you originally take the photo, then it will save you doing it here but I didn't in the image. So what I'm going to be doing is bringing up the temperature towards the yellow and I'm gonna keep it right here. So now, just like that, this is what we currently have, but I also want the image to be brighter and popping. So I'm gonna bring up the exposure just a touch. And now what we do is adjust the highlights and the shadows. So I'm gonna bring down the shadows. As you can see, that is now bl literally blocked out the background but I'm not going to block it out too much so we can just see a little bit of it so it doesn't look like um, it's Photoshop so the cat's just popping out and then the highlights I'm going to leave it just here. So we're almost done on the basic the last thing we have is in the presence tab so we have clarity, vibrance and saturation now for me the only two I'm going to be adjusting is clarity and vibrance you can by all means adjust the saturation but usually you wouldn't need to so I'm going to bring up the clarity. Now clarity is a very strong tool you can see. I brought this up quite a lot just to show you what it does. It's a very very strong tool so don't go too high. I'm just going to stay here and I'm also going to bring up the vibrance. Again vibrance is a strong tool as you can see so don't go too high on this either. And there we go. This is how I'm staying for this. I'm going to minimize the basic tab and now we're going to head over to tone curve and this part is really simple. All I do is head over to the center and then I either left click and drag down or I drag up. Now this is all personal preference depending on the image. You may not even have to do this if your image is already in good brightness. Um, so for me, I'm just going to leave it just about, let's see, just here. So there's just a slight little curve here. You can see the dark is changed to minus seven. I'm going to minimize the tone curve and now we're going to be heading over to detail. Now this little box here is actually, I probably zoomed in on the cat right now. So if you just double click here or left click here, as you can see, you can pick a spot. So I want to focus on his eye here and I'm going to sharpen up the image. So this is what we're going to be using as the example to see the before and after. Let's go back to his eye. There we go. And everything else I'm going to leave as is. We're going to head over to noise reduction. Noise reduction is one I do recommend you use quite a lot. It just softens the image a bit. So I'm going to bring that up just to 26. And that's how I'm going to leave that there. 
we can now minimize out of the detail and now we're going to head over to transform so from transform it's pretty simple all this is again personal preference depends what you're shooting for depends if you use the tripod or not i didn't this was just a simple quick photo i took so you want to level the image um to me it looks pretty level as is however you also want to come here and just select level now you can see nothing's happened it also says no upright correction found also make sure constrain crop is selected as you can see i don't need to level it because it's already leveled but this tool will help you and you also have to be aware when you do level your photo in uh editing then you will be cropping some of your image out so it's always best when you take your photos to level it there and then so i'm going to minimize out of transform and the final thing is the effects tab and that is adding on a vignette to the edges now this is completely optional and all i'm going to be doing is bringing this to minus 15. now what that's done is just brought uh, black shadows on the edges if you come to the plus side you can see it adds white and in this case white would probably suit it since the cat is white however I always like going with uh, black so I'll stay right here actually minus 29 there we go so I'm going to minimize out of the effects tab and this is like I mentioned a very basic editing but from here I'm going to show you the history so of course this is the after photo but this is the before photo right here you can see very dark really gloomy to be honest not as sharp but then after all the effects a lot brighter a lot sharper and of course a lot more vibrant now the settings i have shown you are very very basic however i believe they do boost your image quality a lot and i actually use this on a daily basis for property images so I take put, uh, pictures of properties on the outside and of course the interiors and I use these effects to boost the image quality and it makes a huge difference. Now bear in mind for property images then you will be using a wide angle lens. For me I, I use a 10 millimeter lens for property images and of course the aperture is around 5.6 to 8. Now I would have used one of the property images in this tutorial, however of course I don't have the permission and I don't want to get sued. But there you go, just like that, that is how simple it is to improve your image quality using Lightroom.